Hello, I'm Diana Galata, Director of Communication Services for Prince William County Schools. And today I have with me Denise Hebner, who has the very difficult job of leading the pandemic team during the COVID-19 crisis. Denise is an Associate Superintendent with our school division and has been working with a great team of people to make decisions around COVID and how do we respond to that and how do we keep our students safe. So talk to us a little bit about how Prince William County Schools makes decisions around the operations of the schools during COVID. So Diana, as you mentioned, um, I am the lead of a team and I think that's the key. It's a team of people. We partner with our community agencies, our local health district, um, collaborate with many, many outside professionals monitor data, and we use a lot of different decision-making points in order to make our decisions about how to help, help our kids stay safe and keep our schools functioning effectively. We take a, a lot of time and energy to look and monitor the data in the community, but also looking at the data points of how the virus is impacting students and staff in our buildings. What may be happening in the community may not be reflective of what's happening in our buildings. We have strong strategies that we put in place within our buildings to make them safe and um, effective mitigation strategies. And we, we consider all of the factors before we make a decision about should we reduce our in-person learning. In all of our decisions, we keep our children at the forefront of our decision making. Our kids and students are why we're here and why we work hard every day. And we recognize that their needs vary and we need to work hard to ensure that all of our students have a world-class education. We do that by looking at how we can best serve our students from the start of the pandemic, um, when we welcomed our vulnerable students in, we had a reduced number of students in the building, which helped us get in a good place with routines and safety strategies and really ensure that when we bring our kids back in the phased approach, that we're ready and prepared to do all the things that we need to do to keep our kids safe.